After a long, long wait, the season is nearly upon us. I've already given my Premier League predictions for where I think Manchester United will finish. But in this video, I'm going to give my full predictions. Premier League, Europa League, FA Cup, League Cup, player of the season, top goal scorer, top assist, surprise of the season. There's loads and loads of different things that I want to run through and discuss with you in this video. It's basically my full season preview of United. There's so much promise that I've seen in this preseason. You'll hopefully would have enjoyed the preseason coverage that I did of Ten Hag's training, the drills, the patterns that we're seeing. We're about to see it all in move into practice, and I can't wait to see it. Fingers crossed we can actually win something. You never know. But make sure you subscribe to United People's TV, ladies and gents. I'd love to have you part of the community as this season now begins and as we continue to hit the notification bell as well. You won't ever miss a video anytime I go live. But let's run through it. Let's talk about whether we're going to be in the top four finish, the Europa League winners, who's going to be our top goal scorer. This is my prediction for the season. Make sure you let me know your predictions down below and whether or not you agree with me. Of course, we've got to start with the Premier League. Now, you may or may not have already seen my Premier League uh, predictions, but I think Man United are going to finish fifth. I think the way that the Premier League has strengthened, the way that Manchester United, as it stands... I'm backing us to finish fifth in the Premier League. Spurs with all the money they put behind Conte. Arsenal, they look to have done well with Arteta. Liverpool are Liverpool and they've got Nunes on top. And City are City and they've got Haaland as well. Like they're, they're leagues ahead of us. I think we've improved, but I still think we're going to fall slightly short as it stands. We can change that in the next couple of few weeks, right? There's still time for Manchester United to strengthen further. But in my opinion, I think we're just going to fall a little bit short right towards the end when it comes to the quality compared to those rivals around us who have strengthened, I feel better than us so far. Still time to resolve that. Of course there is. Now, going down to the Europa League, I had to really think about this one because it, it kind of depends on where you think Eric Ten Hag is going to be putting his focus. I think he might end up going for more of a Jose Mourinho style season. And I'm hoping that that means that we win the Europa League. I might be spectacularly wrong here. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But I'm back in the United and I'm back in Ten Hag to win the Europa League. The Europa League is actually, year on year, gets better and better and better, doesn't it? I think so anyway. Well, last couple of years, since they've introduced the fact that you can qualify for the Champions League by winning the Europa League, I think that was a big changing point. But I'm back in United to win it. Ultimately, our squad depth and strength is probably where we might uh, sort of crumble in this sense. But I don't know, something, something in my gut is telling me that Eric Ten Hag will not just like focus on the, the Europa League and just sort of ignore the Premier League in the same way that Jose Mourinho did. But I think he will know the importance of what winning that piece of silverware will do. First and foremost, because it gets Champions League football, maybe we won't get that in the Premier League. And also because it will just make a big difference to getting that first trophy. We, we all know how important it is for a new manager. So I'm predicting Man United to win that tournament. And I hope I'm correct. Because the final's in Budapest, and I've already booked a hotel. Free cancellation, though. Right, moving on to the, the League Cup. I've put United down as a quarter finalist, and I'll be honest, I've done the exact same thing for the FA Cup. I think in terms of the domestic trophies, especially because of the World Cup this year, remember the World Cup air starts in November, ends in December, so the League Cup, which would normally get sort of quite a lot of the games done in that period, the League Cup will only get the third round before the World Cup starts, and then it means that January is going to be backlogged with the FA Cup and the League Cup. And on top of everything that's going on in the Premier League, I think we're probably going to put the kids out in these games. I'd like to be wrong about the FA Cup. I'd, like to, I'd love to win the FA Cup for, for Eric Ten Hag in his first year. It won't be the sort of the, the competition that moves the needle, but again, in the same way that you would in the Europa League wouldn't do that, it would make a difference to the mentality and, and getting the trophy under the belt. But I'm actually going for uh, quarterfinals in both the League Cup and the FA Cup. I think we'll come a little bit short in both of those competitions. But that's my predictions for where, it, where we're going to finish in the actual competitions. But in terms of the internal predictions, this is, um, I suppose, it's slightly more difficult. Uh, maybe not difficult to predict. Jesus Christ, they're all difficult to predict. But there's, there's different candidates. I would say going into the season, Jaden Sancho is probably somebody who a lot of fans feel that could be player of the season come the end of it. But for me... I've gone for Bruno Fernandes. I feel like I've seen a slightly different Bruno Fernandes in the preseason so far. I've said it last year, that Bruno Fernandes has got so many assets to his game, but it felt like what he needed was a little bit more coaching and also to his, his, his emotion and his, his aggression is a massive asset to his game. 
until it takes over and he starts uh, firing the Hollywood passes, taking the risky moves when it's not necessary. For me in the preseason, I've seen a smarter version of Bruno Fernandes. And I think he's really going to be a captain without the armband this year for us. I really, really do. It, just, it strikes me that Bruno Fernandes is going to go back to that Bruno Fernandes that we, that we saw between January and that first full year at the club, but inside a better team with a better coach and a better structure. And I think that's going to elevate him to new levels that we've not seen yet and the consistency of it. Bruno Fernandes, for me, I'm backing him to be player of the season. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I say, Jaden Sancho is probably somebody who I think you could conceivably put next to him along right now in terms of the expectation going into it. Who else could you talk about? You could, you could possibly throw in Martinez or Eriksson, but they're both unknown entities. And I hope it's not David De Gea by the end of the season. No offense to David De Gea, but when your goalkeeper is player of the season, it means something's gone wrong that season. I'm back in Bruno. Now, in terms of top goal scorer, this might be considered a bit controversial, I suppose, considering what I've been saying. But I wouldn't look past Ronaldo as Man United's top goal scorer next season in the current circumstances. And that means that we haven't signed a new striker. It means that Martial was still at the club. And Ronaldo, even if Ronaldo's unhappy, which he is unhappy, and he doesn't want to be at Manchester United, once the season starts, I think he would start banging in the goals again. And I don't think I could look past Cristiano Ronaldo being our top goal scorer next year. Well, not next year, but you know what I mean, next, in, the, in the season that's coming up. You can let me know what you think about that. Do you think that this would be the season where just Ronaldo just completely drops up? Last year, man, he scored 23 goals in all competitions, I think, in a massively dysfunctional team. I think the team is now not dysfunctional. It will be Ronaldo that's dysfunctional in the idea that he doesn't want to be here, doesn't want to be part of it. He's kind of on the outside looking in. But I still can't, I still, at this moment in time, can't back Martial to be scoring more goals than Ronaldo across the course of the season. Right, I'd love for Martial to prove me wrong. I'd love for Rashford to prove me wrong. I'd love for us to sign Benjamin Sesko and for him to be in this equation. But as it stands, I would back Ronaldo to be our top goal scorer next season. You can let me know what you think about that. In terms of top assists, I think there's two obvious candidates for hit for this one as well, and that's Bruno Fernandez and that's Jaden Sancho. And again, I'm really backing Bruno to shine. I love Bruno, man. When Bruno came in, he dragged the club off the floor. Really did. Pulled us out of the swamp. And of course, he tailed off last year. He really got caught up in the emotion of it. And maybe that's because it hurt him just as much as it hurt us fans. But just with the performances, that it started to negatively affect his performance. I'm backing him to be... I mean, even last year when he wasn't playing that well, he would still get assists. He would still get goals. He would still get returns. Bruno Fernandes, I just think this season is going to go up to another level. Under Eric Ten Hag, I feel he's the right coach for him. I think he'll be able to coach it into him to use that quality that he has, but in the right moments and then sometimes take a little step back. But I think inside that role as well, he's basically got a bit of a free role between the striker and the midfielder. It suits Bruno. It's where, you know, it's where Bruno's at his best. And I'm going to put him down to be the top assist come the end of the season. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said, that one's a bit of a toss up between Jaden Sancho and Bruno. Now, in terms of the surprise of the season, maybe it won't be too much of a surprise that I'm saying it. So maybe I've chosen wrong here. But I'm backing Fred. I'm backing Fred to win Players Player of the Year. At the end of the year awards, I think that other players are going to vote for Fred as their player of the year. Player of the season, sorry. Fred's had a crack in preseason so far. It always kind of felt, in my opinion, that Fred would be... Um, one of those players who, th who thrived under Eric Ten Hag. And we've seen that in the preseason. All the signs are good. He's not a number six, but he's operating slightly deeper behind either Eriksen, Van Der Beek or Matomene or Bruno Fernandes at the moment. If Donny Van Der Beek, sorry, if uh, Frankie Dion comes in, then Fred might move slightly more forward or he'd be a backup and an alternative to Frankie Dion. But for me, I think as a surprise of the season, I'm going for Fred to be named the player's player of the season. I think a lot of stick goes the way of Fred. Uh, some of it unjustly. I think he gets labelled in that McFred label. I think McTominay and Fred in their own right are decent enough squad players, but Fred's better overall. I think so. So I think he's going to win Players Player of the Year. So that's my season predictions, right? Let's quickly run through them again to, right at the end of the video. In the Premier League, I'm going for United for a fifth place finish. Europa League, I'm backing us to win it. Really want us to win it, man. Really, really do. Not just for the fact that he gets the Champions League, but just winning something. I miss it. Um, 
I'm backing us to get knocked out in the quarterfinals of both cup competitions. I don't think our squad's going to be deep enough to do the domestic cups at the same time. So I think we might fall short in there in those. And player of the season, I'm backing Bruno. I don't understand Sancho. If it's not those two, what player do you think could be in that conversation as well? You let me know what you think. Top goal scorer, as I say, Ronaldo, he doesn't want to be here. But once the season starts and it looks like he's going to stay here, I can't look past Ronaldo as our top goal scorer. He will score goals. Top assists, I'm back in Bruno. Again, ahead of, ahead, ahead of Jaden Sancho, but I think Sancho will be on fire. And my surprise of the season will be, well, it's a bit of a hot take. I think Fred will win Players Player of the Year. Let's see if I'm correct. But you let me know what you think about that. That's my season predictions in every competition and a couple of the player awards. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. So make sure you do, but maybe three days away from it now. It's been a big, big build up. Come 2 p.m. on Sunday against Brighton Old Trafford. 75,000 fans will watch Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United era begin. Can't wait to see it. And hopefully it starts with three points. But what do you think will be like at the end of the season? Let me know your predictions.